Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So, before we get started, please like and subscribe. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, click that notification bell to get uh, notified on the next upload. I am, oh my gosh, it's a full moon. So gorgeous. So, I had something planned for, uh, for today, but I, in the midst of me, you know, trying to put it together and things like that, I scheduled it for next week. My bad. But, um, I definitely wanted to come on here and because I said in my short, I scheduled it for next week by accident, but I said I'm going to post something tonight. So I am going to keep my word. I'm going to stay consistent and be and post everything on Thursdays. Granted that I messed this week up, which happens. It is what it is. But, um, it's something that I want to talk about. It's been heavy on my mind and on my chest lately. There's... There's a couple of things I want to talk about, but at this present moment, I won't be able to touch base on it simply because I can't discuss it until uh, <laughs> next month. So please bear with me. There is a fly gnat near this light that's quite annoying. But anyway, um, I don't know if a lot of y'all are into spirituality, especially like African spirituality. I know a lot of people on here, you know, are Christian and, and adhere to the Bible and things like that. Me personally, I don't. Um, and it's nothing against those that do. It's just, I just, ever since I was a child, I knew something. For me, I knew something wasn't, I don't want to say something was right. I just knew something was just, it, it didn't sit right in with my soul, my spirit. So, um, lately... As I've been sitting here, um, healing, evolving, and, and reading and learning more about myself and being alone with myself and in my space, I'm starting to realize that um, I'm getting, I'm picking up things that are happening to me slowly. And I'm, I'm, I'm noticing things that are happening to me spiritually. Uh, I don't know if everyone, if you are in tune with yourself, like very in tune with yourself, especially your higher self. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about, but what I'm referring to and what I'm talking about is there comes to a point in time in my life, well, it, 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 there came a point, a point in time where I was just, you know, minding my business, speaking things, manifesting things, speaking things to existing things that I wanted and things that I, you know, um, wanted to see come into fruition in my life that um, when I was just saying it i heard a, a, a ringing in my ear crazy and i was like and, and i just stopped so i stopped and i was like yo is that what i think that, that is so this ringing in my left ear it was very very it was loud it was high pitched and very long it lasted for about a little bit more over five seconds so me the person that i am i'm on google like what is this? What's this ringing in my ear? I'm thinking like, you know, the, the wives tale where they go, oh yeah, somebody's talking about you, things like that. Nah, I mean, it wasn't even that. It was more so on the spiritual side as my higher self was letting me know um, that in this moment, in this moment in time, right now that I'm experiencing growth, particularly spiritual growth. And I'm like, that's that okay I, I i can understand how that that works and that how that you know coincides with each other but when i say that ringing in my ear was so loud that i thought it was something in this apartment that was ringing you know what i'm saying and on top of that i also had these airpods and i was listening to music so i'm thinking it was part of the song and so I literally stopped to really, really listen. And it wasn't part of the song. It was the actual ringing, high-pitched ring in my ear. So, I, like I said, I went on Google. You know, I, I researched it. I hit up another friend of mine. She's into tarot, uh, tarot readings and, and, and astrology and everything like that. So I hit her up. I'm like, yo. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever had the experience of 
ringing in your ears like high pitch ringing like what does that mean that your higher self is trying to communicate with you and things like she's like i will hear ringing in my ears every now and then i'm like bro i was like wow that's crazy and she's like yeah just pay attention to what you're doing how you're thinking and your environment in that time whenever your ears are ringing like that i'm like all right cool so I get still I'm researching, still I'm researching, and then I get to writing in my journal. I have an online journal. So, because um, growing up, I had an instant where my mother would find my journals, read them, and tear them up. So there's a lot of things that I wasn't able to safe keep as a child. So now that this online journal came, I've been journaling like crazy. I still have some of my journals, but it's the years and months are few and far in between, are so few and far in between that it's just like, damn, I wish I didn't, I wish I had a place to keep my shit to where it wouldn't get destroyed or, you know, all the thoughts and feelings that I was experiencing, I was able to keep them and put them into a book. I think I, I'll be able to, probably with a little hypnosis as well, but um, yeah. So I've been journaling that and again, I know a lot of y'all are not into the whole African spirituality and the whole spiritual thing, but I met in my last video, I talked about letting shit go, right? Literally, in the last video I talked about letting shit go, I think after, after I did that video and it posted, I believe it was a few days later that this ringing in my ear happened. So to me, that's like, yo, I'm on the right path with this pod, with this YouTube podcasting thing. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to turn out. I really don't. The universe is going to eventually put it together how, it, how it's going to put it together. All I know is that I'm going to show the fuck up. I'm just going to show up and I'm just going to tell you all my experience and we just going to move from there. I'm gonna work on finding, well, I have an editor of mine, but I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna budget that into my budget. But I'm going to just show up. I'm gonna show up as me. I'm gonna show up as authentically as I can. Well, I am showing up as authentically as I can, because look at me right now. The last video I had a sweatshirt on, you know, whatever the case may be, look pop. This video, sweatshirt on, got braids in my hair. So, um, it just, it just goes, it's just a reminder that I'm moving in the right direction. That ringing in my ear was a reminder that I'm moving in the right direction. That what I'm doing here on this platform on YouTube is having me move in the right direction. It's making me realize that um, I'm doing what I wanted to do and I'm doing to set, set myself up to acquire the life that I want to acquire. And that's financial freedom dead ass like that's financial freedom and to do the things that i want to do because we all want financial freedom we all want to do and use our, our gifts to um live the life that we want to live and also produce and have it produce the income that we want and just by me posting that last video about letting shit go and then experiencing the ringing in my ear you know what i'm saying which equates to growth it just solidifies like i just said it solidifies this youtube channel that i'm i got right now going on it's gonna go somewhere where no fucking clue i have no clue where it's gonna go but it obviously is going to go somewhere it's going to give it's going to get me the life that I want. It's going to, the universe is going to be able to use this channel to provide the things that I want, to do the things that I want. And by me showing up as myself and giving you the experiences, talking to you about my experiences and giving you the truth behind my experiences and making sure that I am being as authentic and truthful to you that is watching, um, it gives me, it, it makes me happy. It gives me hope that this will resonate with someone. Um, it's just amazing how, like, this path that I'm on is, is 
is taking me places that I never could dream of. I haven't even gotten there and I'm just like, yeah, I'm already there. I haven't even like scratched the surface, yet alone made my way to where I'm going. I mean, I'm on the path. I haven't even like gotten there. It's like, oh yeah, I'm talking as if I'm already there. And that's the point. The point of growth is to, to speak as if you already have it and as if you are already there. There's no point in saying, oh yeah, I think I'm gonna get there or I probably will get there. No, I'm there. It's just the physical is catching up with the spiritual. That ringing made me realize like, yo, you get in there, sis. Like you, you, you're getting there. You're growing in this period. With this growth, what I have to, what I experienced these past couple of weeks and in this month, I had to go through that to get to where I'm about to go. Do I know where that is? Again, no. But I have faith that the universe and God and my ancestors and you know, my spirit guides and my head Orisha is going to take me there. And it's going to be a place I could, I would, would have never thought or dreamt of before. So in my last video, I talked about letting shit go. But in this video, I'm talking about being open to receiving, being open and being happy and open to receiving the shit that is supposed to be for you and open to receiving things that you know that you will you will get from God and the universe. Just be open. Just be open. Just definitely be open to it. Assure that you know you're going to get it. Have faith in what you're saying and in yourself and know that you're going to get it. Because that's all you really need. Granted, I don't really mess with the Bible like that. But the faith of a mustard seed, that, that is all you need. To know that you're, you are going to get what you want to get. To know the things that you have manifested and to know the things that you have written down and the things that you have said over and over again in your affirmations. To know that this will come to fruition one way or another. Sit in it and believe in it. Because that's the only way that this is going to happen. And I'm happy to share this journey with y'all. Like, that ass, like, I'm really happy to share this journey with y'all because I don't really, um, like, I have people in my life that I do share stuff like this with, but it's been a difficult road to have the type of people to genuinely give a fuck about where you are going in life. It's been a difficult road from women to men. It's been extremely difficult, but I am so happy that I'm on this platform to share this shit with y'all and to share my journey with y'all and to share the things that I've experienced and the things that I, um, you know, feel and, and think about in the process. So I'm not going to keep you long. I'm going to let y'all go. Please don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for the next upload. Um, you guys have an amazing weekend and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.